Greetings internet land. I'm gonna do something a little different for this video because I've tried to make and remake this video a couple times and I keep forgetting stuff. I, I've been streaming the installation of the various modules into the Abominatron here. However, I fell behind for a couple weeks and I lost the video of installing the Mother 32 and the DFAM. Here and there on the stream, I've tried to talk about it a couple times so I'll so edit it together into something watchable. But each time I try to do so, I end up forgetting something or leaving something out. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of cut them all together and between them, hopefully I have, you know, I cover all my bases here. So these were actually the first couple modules I got for the Abominatron. Probably the most common of the modules here too. So they were the easiest to track down and use and I got them as a pair and got a pretty good deal on Craigslist. <laughs> As far as installation is concerned, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you've just got the eight screws. Came out of the case real easy. You just gotta unplug uh, a little plug that's in the case for the power and the input jack and everything. And you will need to get your own ribbon cable to connect it to your Euro rack. But it's a standard size, came out, went in real easy. I had just been waiting to get the mixer hooked in because you lose the line level output when you take them out of the case. So I'm just running the VCAs into the mixer now. So as you can see, they are both pretty big. They take up a lot of room, which I mean, on one end is cool. That helped me get further to my you know completion goal here of the rack. But at the same time, the further along you get, the more modules you realize you need. And so you really need each little bit of room. And you'll notice your modules get a lot skinnier as you go. So both of them are pretty big, but they do both have their own sequencer too. You know, could be handy for you. So. The keyboard on the Mother 32 uh, comes in handy on occasion, though I'm usually controlling it with a tracker, so it's not that important. One big drawback of putting them in a case though is if you're doing a MIDI in, sometimes this needs to be like reset, like turned off and turned on. So that means you have to power off and power back on your whole rack sometimes to get that MIDI signal going through. I don't think if you are controlling a pitch like the VCO with control voltage, I don't think that's a problem, but I've been doing mostly MIDI, so I have noticed that that has come up. On one hand, you can re-rack them into their case pretty easily, so you can always have it next to your rack at some point if you need to recase it to make room. Or if you get your own figure out a power supply situation, you can always rack stuff in its case too. So it kind of comes with a little skiff if you're going to put it in your rack. So this is the case uh, that I took them out of. They're pretty much identical um, despite which mode modular unit it is. And they have these little rails too, so if you want to install a couple things later you can however you'll need to put your own power supply in here but it's a nice little skiff the main drawback of taking this out of there are some cases that you lose this little outport jack and this is a line level out unlike the vca out which is what you need to use in the rack which is you know synthesizer volume level which is a much higher volume level than the line out essentially so unlike say the life forms which has a line level headphone out, you've got just the synthesizer out on the front. Anyway, that'll do it for now. I've got some, some videos to get caught up on editing, so I'm gonna start trying to put those together. But the next thing on the stream is gonna be figuring out if we can rack the Ocoast, which is a little less designed for easy racking than the life forms and the mother 32 and DFAM and such at least from what i have read so far so yeah stay tuned for the journey 
Uh, I'm also trying to figure out some backup uh, Arduino Boy somethings. I have a failed Arduino Boy attempt video <laughs> that might be coming out. We'll see. Anyway, stay tuned. Cheers. Thank you.